Hello and welcome back to another edition of the big match where it's a second game in the week at East End Park today as we bring to you Dunfermline versus Queen of the South. These two teams met earlier in the season and it was a 1-1 draw at Palmerston Park. Now they come to East End Park tied on points in the Scottish Championship so it's what many people would call a six pointer. Dunfermline are the team in slightly better form going into this one having only lost one league game in the last six. It will certainly be an interesting game and I'm happy to bring it to you. So let's take you over to the match day coverage, live from East End Park. Bring on the action! Good morning. It's a fine Saturday morning, once again. The washing machine's gone, apologies for that. But well, I'm just looking at the fixture calendar here, and of course we're in the month of November now. Starting off with Queen of the South at home, then Alloa away next weekend, then Air United away, and then Cup game against Renard, and then Patek Thistle at home. I think there is a good chance that Dunfermline could go undefeated in this month of football. It's a big ask, but I do think we can do it. First on the cards though, is this game against Queen of the South. So let's get the score predictions in for it. For the Queen of the South Dunfermline match, seeing as Queen of the South the last couple of games have been on pretty poor form, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Dunfermline win. My prediction for Dunfermline Athletic against Queen of the South is 2-1 to the Paws. My prediction for the Paws Queen of the South game is going to be a 2-1 win for the Paws with Nisbet Turner scoring for uh, the Paws and Stephen Dobie for Queen of the South. I think the Paws will get a, one, uh, a good win here because I think that they're on a good wee run of form after beating our Arbroath. I'm going to say a 2-2 draw with Kelty and Nisbet scoring for Dunfermline and Stephen Dobie getting a double. For the Paws Queen of the South game, I think it will be 2-1 to Dunfermline. Uh, my prediction for the Dunfermline Queen of the South game, I'm going to go for a 2-1 win. I think it's going to be a tight game, but the Vim will win 2-1. I think it's going to be 2-1 Queen of the South. And this man to get balls. Paws vs Queen of the South on Saturday. Feeling confident for the game and I think the Paws can get a 3-0 win. I'm on the Paws. So my prediction for Dunfermline versus Queen of the South is a 2-1 Dunfermline win. I don't think Faisal will score. The two scorers for Dunfermline will be Kevin Nisbet and my man Andy Ryan. My score prediction for the Dunfermline versus Queen of the South game on Saturday is I think it will be a 3-0 win for Dunfermline. I just think Pars will have too much for Queen of the South. So, as you heard, a lot of Dunfermline wins in that one. But two names that were mentioned for Queen of the South were two people that happened to be on a bit of my football kind of featured bit with my dad. I've got stuff up there and I've got stuff on my door. Faisal celebrating for us back in the day and then your man Stephen Doby. Let's hope they're no on target today, especially that man Faisal. I just didn't want to see him celebrating at East End Park. But anyway, let's go to the football. There it is, once again. Come on, the pause. And ladies and gentlemen, here in Stem Park, both teams are in, so let's get back to the teams. Come on, Lupin! Well respected moment of silence for Remembrance Day, as always, and now into the game. Let's see what we've got in store today. No. Go on then, Greg. Oh, corner kick. Go then. Oh, Ashcroft. Really good shots. No, no 
Faisal. Oh. No thanks to any of him getting shots on goal today. Get it in the bin. Go on then. Go on then, Kev. Yes, Kev. Good, Kev. Ah. Oh, fuck it hell. Oh! Oh! We've played some decent stuff so far. Queen's have not really had any luck this end. Hopefully it stays that way. Brian Dow's in behind here. Good cross. Go on then! Somebody! Kelty's there. Peyton. Oh, it's came back! Ryan! Oh! Faisal is getting an early shower. Substitution for Queen of the South Move in the field number 19, Faisal El Bakui. He must have had an injury. But, um, yeah. Put in an early departure for Uman Face. Yes! Well done, Andy. And there's half time. A strange half to sum up, really. I've played some nice stuff, but I've far more shots than coming on the side, I think, anyway. They've certainly not been up here that much, but there's a lot for the second half to offer, really. It's, that'll tell the story of this game. Hopefully, it's us coming out on the better end of it. Please, Rinsborough, let's hear it for the black and white. Come on, Rupert! Good kill. Oh, it's through! Andy! Oh, fuck's sake. Never caught that one. Peyton! Bang! Oh, no. I want it to be shoot. <laughs> Andy Ryan. Oh, oh. Good interchange in play and a good finish through down. Oh yeah, a wee deflection to help it get in the net, but we'll take them as they come. One note on Firm Athletic. Three points on the way. Caught at the back there. Oh no. Oh that was a close in. Martin got caught back there. It's just wee bits like that that you don't want to see creep into it because they've barely been in this game in an attacking sense at all. Just didn't let them in. Joke. It's fine. It's alright. Turn. Go on then. Good Josh. Oh, lucky. Oh. Andy Ryan coming off for Tom Beadlin. Play it back to Comrie. Nipped it out. Nipped it out. Go on, Kev! Go on, Kev! Get on, Yen! Yes, Kevin! Yes! Three and two! Go on, then! That's it, that's the game. Delighted with that. We're on a good view of our phone, isn't it? One loss in the last seven. That's decent. That is more than decent. Hey! Come on, man! Stephen Dobby as well. Expected better for you. <laughs> You're just a Kevin Nisbet is what they're chatting to Stephen Dobby. <laughs> oh god. Yes! Full time! Come on you pass. Get in there. Very good game. Very good game by us. One of the best performances I've seen us put in in a full 90 minutes in a while. 
honestly. Just managed the game so well, bet our team throughout and took our chances when they came and got the three points, deserved one. Get in there, come on. Up the league we go. Get used to this feeling walking away from East End Park, feeling happier than last season anyway, because last season was terrible. We never really had this feeling that often. Now we're getting it on a relatively consistent basis. That first home win that we got a few weeks ago has now been followed up each time by a better performance each time, and this the day was the next level of that, so delighted. And that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game and subscribe for another type of content. And until the next video, see you then on the pass.